CIET NCERT presents audiobook of environmental studies textbook for class 4 entitled looking around this is the chapter 17 Nandita in Mumbai from page 137 to page 145 page 137 I came to Mumbai a month ago. Since we came, mother has been admitted in the hospital. We had to come to Mumbai for her treatment. The big city, Mumbai. I have slowly got used to the city. I still remember the day when mother and I got off the train at the Mumbai station. It was so crowded. I quickly caught hold of mother's hand. I was thinking about how mama would find us in the crowd. Just then, I heard someone calling loudly from behind. Nandita! Nandita! I turned back and there was mama. On the left side of the bottom of the page, we have a picture of a railway platform which is very crowded a train is standing at the platform. Nandita is standing holding hand of her mother and from behind her mama is calling her. We left the station and were soon on our way to mama's house. But again, it was so crowded everywhere. For the teacher, mother's brother is called mama in Hindi. Ask children what do they call mother's brother in their family. Page 138 We have two pictures on top of the page. In the first picture, Nandini, her mother and her mama are passing through the narrow streets to reach her mama's house. The second picture shows all the family members. Nandini, her mother, her mama, mommy and their two daughters along with a son all living in one room. Different activities are going on inside the house. There were many huts lined all along the narrow street. We went through the street to reach mama's house. Mama, mommy, their two daughters and a son all live in one room. Now I too live here with them. It is here that we sit, sleep, cook and wash, all in one room. My house in the village also has only one room, but we have separate places for cooking and for bathing. We also have a courtyard outside. Water, water. Mommy, Seema and I get up at four o'clock every morning to go to the public tap to fill water. Oh no, you won't believe how many fights there are for water. If we are just a little late, then we are not able to fill water for the day. There is no tap in our house, in the village too. The pond in the village has water. It takes 20 minutes to walk to it. In summer, sometimes, the water in the pond dries up. For the teacher, Mother's brother's wife is called Mami in Hindi. Ask children what do they call her in their family. Page 139 Then, we have to walk for almost one hour to the river to get water. But in the village, there were no fights for water. Next to the text, on the right side of the page, we have a picture where many women and girls are seen quarreling and fighting over water. In the street where Mama lives, there is a toilet at one end. Everyone in the street uses that toilet. It is always very dirty and smells so bad. At first, it used to make me want to vomit. At times there is no water. We have to take water with us. Now I am getting used to all this. 
In the village, people go to the open places or fields for toilet. The men and women go to different places. Right. Why did Nandita have to bring her mother from the village to Mumbai? Write your answer in the blank space. Nandita used to feel like vomiting when at first she had to use the toilet where Mama lived. Why? Write your answer in the blank space. Page 140 In what ways did Nandita find her Mama's house to be different from her house in the village? Write your answer in the blank space. What differences did Nandita find between getting water from the public tap and in the village? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Was there electricity at the place where Nandita's mama lived? Guess. Write your answer in the blank space. Learning new things. Every day I go to the hospital by bus to see my mother. At first, I was too scared to get into such crowded buses. I was not at all used to it. I was afraid. But now it is not like that. I know how to stand in line, how much to pay for the ticket, where to get down. Where we stay, there is a tall building nearby. My mommy works in seven houses there. She washes utensils and cleans the houses. Next to this text, on the bottom left hand of the page, we have the picture of Nandita's mommy working in one of the houses, cleaning the room. One day I went there with her. When I first saw the building, I thought that it was one big house. Page 141 but I found that there were many houses, one on top of another. I was wondering how I would climb so many stairs, but there was a lift to take people up and down. It was like a big iron cage with fan and light and even a bell. So many of us got into the lift. Somebody pressed the button and lift went up quickly. To tell you the truth, I was very scared in the beginning. Let us talk. Do you know anyone who was admitted to a hospital? For how many days was he or she in the hospital? Did you visit the person in the hospital? Who was looking after the patient at the hospital? Have you ever seen a tall building? Where? How many floors did the building have? How many floors did you climb? Another house. Mommy took me first to Bablu's house. His house was on the twelfth floor. What a big house. So many rooms. One to sit in, one to eat in, one to sleep in, and one to cook in. Their toilet was also in the house. It took Mommy a lot of time to clean Bablu's house, but she could work easily. Next to the text, we have a small picture on the right side of the page where Nandita is seen peeping from outside into the bathroom of Bablu's house. There was a tap in the kitchen and water flowed from it. Page 142 Bablu put a bucket under the tap to fill water for his bath. Then he sat down to watch TV. So much water was wasted. I did not like it. I went and closed the tap. Bablu's house had big glass windows. Mommy told me to look down from the window. I could see Mama's street and the houses, but I could not make out which was his house. From up there, everything below looked like small toys. I was quite afraid to look down from such a height. 
Below this we have two pictures. One picture shows a tall building and the other picture shows a group of children surrounding one of the elders down near Nandita's mama's place. When Nandita first came to Mumbai, what were the things that she was afraid to do? Write your answer in the blank space. For the teacher, the lesson describes some differences between where Nandita's mama lives and the houses in the high-rise buildings. Encourage children to think more about such differences and the possible reasons for these. Page 143 What were the differences between the houses where Mama lived and the houses in the high-rise buildings? Two columns are here with blank spaces. Column 1 heading is Houses in area where Mama lived. Column 2 heading Houses in a high-rise building. Write your answers below each heading. Discuss why there were differences. Tell about yourself. Draw a circle around the kind of house you live in. Is it like the house of Nandita, Mama, Bablu, any other kind? Where does the water come from in your house? Is there an electricity connection in your house? How many hours in a day do you get electricity? Which is the nearest hospital in the area where you live? How far are these from your house? We have a table with three columns. The first column has the names of the places which you are supposed to tell the distance from your house. Bus stop school, market, post office, hospital. Column 2 says minutes to walk to. Column 3 says in kilometers. You have to fill in column 2 and 3. Draw pictures in your notebook of the different kind of houses in your area. Page 144. A new worry. Mama had said that he would take me around to see Mumbai. The children around here talk a lot about Chaupati. They say that big film stars also come there. Maybe when I go there, I might see a film star. There's a picture on the right side of the page where Nandita is seen dreaming about her visit to Chaupati and her chance meeting to see or maybe interact with one of the film stars. These days, Mama is so worried. I cannot ask him to take me to Chaupati. Last week, some people had come with a notice that everyone should move out of this place. They say a big hotel will be built there. Mama was saying that this is the third time in the last ten years that he got such notices. People who live here have been given another place to make their houses, but it is very far away, another corner of the city. There is no drinking water, no electricity. I don't even know if any bus goes there. How will Mama reach his workplace from so far? How much money will he have to spend, and how much time also? And Mommy? Will she get some other work there? If Mama moves to a new place, how will I be able to visit my mother? Mother is not even completely well as yet. For the teacher, like Nandita's Mama, people sometimes have to vacate their houses and move to another place. Discuss in the class some reasons for this. Also discuss how such changes can affect the whole family. Page 145 Write in your notebook Why does Mama have to change his house? Have you ever moved from your house? If yes, why did you have to move? Do people in your family have to go far for their work? Where do they go? How far do they have to go? Discuss 
Is it right that Mama and others have to move because a hotel is going to be built there? Who will benefit from this? Who will face difficulties? Do you know of any people who have faced problems similar to Nandita's Mama? Talk about it in class. Draw a picture of house of your choice and color it. There is a rectangular blank box below this for you to draw and color the house. The chapter 17 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India